Hello, my name is Matthew, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the prerequisite software for a Jado CMS install on a Windows Server 2016 environment. First, we will install the Microsoft ODBC driver 13.1. The architecture version we require for this is 64-bit. The download location for this can be found within our documentation. Next, we'll install the Microsoft C++ Redistributable 2018. The architecture version for this software is 32-bit. Next, we will install the PHP module, which can be downloaded from windows.php.net. The version of PHP that we require is VC15 32-bit non-thread safe, and we are going to download the zip file. Go to the location where the zip file was downloaded. Extract the contents, once complete, rename the PHP directory to something more suitable such as PHP. Move the PHP directory to C program files x86. Go into the PHP directory and find a file named PHP INI production and make a copy of it. Rename the file php.ini. You will get this prompt and are you sure you want to change it? And the answer is yes. Edit the PHP INI file that we just created and search for extension directory. The one we want is this line here which says extension underscore dir equals ext. Remove the white space and the semicolon at the start of the line and save. Windows will call PHP using an environment variable. To add an environment variable, click start and control panel. Go to system and security and into system. Once here, select Advanced System Settings, where you'll be prompted with System Properties. Go into Environment Variables, and in System Variables, find Path. Select New, and enter the location of your new PHP installation. To verify this has worked, open a command prompt and type in php-v. Now Windows knows where PHP is located and how to call it, we need to configure IIS to do the same. So within the start menu, go to Windows Administrative Tools and select Internet Information Services. Firstly, we need to add a handler mapping. Within handler mappings, add module mapping and the request path is star.php. The module is fast CGI module and the executable is the path to your PHP installation. Change DLL to .exe and select php-cgi. The name can be your choosing 
However, I typically choose PHP hyphen CGI. You'll be prompted with this box that says, do you want to create a fast CGI application with this executable? And select yes. Go back to the top level server and into default document. Here, we will select add and type in index.php. To allow PHP to communicate with the database, we need to install the SQL driver. You can find the driver location within our documentation. The driver version is 5.3. Once downloaded, it will ask you for a location where you want the files to be extracted to. Browse to your local PHP installation and find the ext directory. Select OK and OK again. Go into the directory where PHP is installed and edit the PHP ini file. Go to the bottom of the file and add the following. Extension equals PHP PDO SQL SRV 72 NTS x86.dll and the second one the extension equals php underscore sql srv underscore 72 nts x86.dll Save this file and once again, run php-v to ensure that everything is working correctly. As there are no errors, this means that the extension addition has been successful, and you are now ready to move on to the CMS installation.